The rifle you see here is my, my Ruger Precision Rifle with a Burris XTR2 rifle scope on it. And um, in the uh, front up here, what you're going to see is I've got a Caldwell um, bipod. It's a 6 to 9 inch bipod. And I went ahead and installed this, uh, this lever here that's an accessory to it. You have to purchase it separately. But really what I wanted to show in this video was that originally when Ruger provided... Um, you know, with the rifle, they provided this this short piece of Picatinny rail here, um, which attaches to the key mod uh, handguard right there. So with the with the rail, they also provided a swivel stud that uh, that originally um, for my range testing, I had this Picatinny rail here with a swivel stud in the center location, but it was mounted on the uh, the six o'clock position on the handguard. And in that position, I was able to go through and attach the um, this uh, Harris style um, bipod, you know, which attaches to a swivel stud. Now, for the purposes of this video, I've uh, I've turned the rifle on its side, and uh, you can see that the the rail is still attached to the uh, to the nine o'clock position, or not, the Picatinny rail is, and so I'm just placing the uh, the bipod on there and my point is is that you know when you're attaching a bipod to one of these short pieces of a of a Picatinny rail then you really have a small footprint you can see here uh, of where the bipod actually contacts the the rail itself and you know you can see you can see that the um, the the bottom the pad right there on the bipod you can see where the uh, you know the 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 ridges of the rail were actually you know clamping or pushing into the this kind of rubbery or plasticky textured surface right here. Well, you know I really wanted something to to be a little bit better than that uh, for this rifle. I wanted it to be a little bit more firm and not to have like any lateral give. This particular bipod here, you know, it's got the uh, swivel feature on it. Let's see if I can loosen it with one finger. You know, it's got a swivel feature on it. And what I wanted to do is when I got it in the position I wanted it and I locked it in place, you know, I wanted to get rid of all of the lateral play um, with the system. And I felt like the, the better way to do that would be to go through and see if I could come up with something that, that put a swivel stud directly onto the bottom of my, my um, key mod handguard. Now to do that, I actually found a um, a little swivel uh, stud type um, mount that's made by Impact Weapons here, and um, they call it the Key Mod Bipod Mountain Slot um, device or part or whatever you want to call it. And you know the uh, you can see it right here, and basically it's just a stud that actually fits. In the round part of that hole and then there's a little um, like a, a spring style keeper I don't know if you can see in this plastic bag right here they give you two of them but um, that little thing captures that stud in place now you can see that you know I can rotate the stud around and it's got you know just a little you know, it's got a little bit of play in there, so it's not like completely firm, but that little keeper keeps you from pushing that stud out. Which I think, you know, I thought that was a pretty good um, solution for being able to just to, to get my bipod to where the bipod itself is firm against these areas on the handguard. Now, the uh, the only trick to this is that, you know, it makes... Installing it to install it you actually have to pull the handguard off because and I'll see if I can get around here and get an angle Kind of looking down the barrel sort of or up under the barrel. I'm not sure if you can see the um, the distance You know In here is so short that you just can't insert this so you have to take the handguard off first put that in place and then reinstall the handguard now, that was really no big deal on the Ruger Precision Rifle because if you looked at any of my other reviews, you know, you can see that it has the capability back here 
and this this particular handguard is a Samson Evolution rail and uh, handguard and so you loosen these two screws here and then there's another screw right here uh, you loosen that you can pull this off insert the uh, stud right there um, there's a a little rubber o-ring but it's really not a, a, a it's it's more like a square o-ring um, that goes on there and then you have the little keeper that goes in place when you put that on there then you put the handguard back on and now you have a swivel stud right there all right so so what I'm trying to show here now is um, I don't know how well it's coming up in the video but what you can see is is that I mean you got a really good uh, footprint of uh, the the pad area on the the bipod itself and where it's touching against the handguard right there and uh, it's a really good solid footprint to me it, there's there's no give in that and I think there was some give in the uh, the the you know when the bipod was mounted on the rail you can also see maybe in there you can see the top of the stud that's in place now you know with the bipod mounted on there I'll probably keep this bipod in general dedicated to this rifle so I'll probably leave it on there a lot um, but it really just makes it such a good stable connection um, with that installed that way yeah I flipped the rifle over to kind of show you another angle there of, of just how much better the the footprint of contact is that you get on the the bipod to the handguard with uh, mounting directly to a swivel stud instead of the uh, the very narrow footprint that you get with a rail now in the case of the Ruger precision rifle by doing that what it did is it freed up this short piece of rail uh, for me to install here at the nine o'clock position uh, for me to use in the future if I ever want to put a light on this for for whatever reason um, to me you know if I'm gonna install a, a, a side rail I always put it in this position just because that that to me as far as as putting a light here and being able to control the right with my left hand uh, the light with my, my left hand it, it just really works out well so it freed up the rail I now got it on this side got a good solid connection down there um, on the bottom and I forget you know what the price of this was honestly it seems like it might have been maybe twelve dollars or something and uh, I'll annotate it here in the video if it's not $12, but I mean to me it just seemed like such a great option uh, for be able, being able to, to really get this swivel stud um, style bipod mounted directly to the handguard. It, it's, it, to me it's just so much of a better um, solution than, than having putting a, another piece of rail, at this rail right here on the bottom, and then putting the bipod below that. Anyway. I thought I'd try to make a quick video uh, just to give anybody out there who's interested in doing that a tip. And uh, if, you, uh, if you like this video, please like or subscribe. And uh, I'll try to bring more videos in the future. Thanks.